I don't think this is gonna work anymore. But if it works, I will be amazed. But it's missing pieces for sure. <laughs> Alright, let's start prepping for the dawn. Alright, peace out, Rad. Bye. Hello, the humans. I returned my eco tank. I think I'm gonna get the 3850. I think that's what it is. It's the one step up above the 2850. But for now, I fixed my Canon Pixma Pro. If you guys remember, it wasn't printing. It, was on, it wasn't printing cyan, but I fixed it. I found a YouTube video that shows you how to fix it. I fixed it, so it works. So I'm gonna be using this, but. So I'm still gonna get the Eco Tank. I'm gonna use the Eco Tank specifically for stickers, and this is gonna be for like my prints and my bigger stuff. That's what I mainly need the 11 by 17 for. So this one's still trucking. All right, so I'm out of yellow, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just refill all of them. Uh, put on these little cheapy dinky gloves. Um, if you guys have the Canon Pixma Pro, you guys probably know how to do this. We use this little USB thing to reset the ink cartridges. I just plug it in and so we'll start with yellow because that's the one that's flashing. I reset it first. I don't know if that's bad or good, but just hold it there for a few seconds. Oh my god, I was doing it for like 10 minutes and it wouldn't work. Now it's working. I don't know why. Okay, you just hold it and reset it. Light turns on. I reset it. Um, I'm gonna fill it with ink now. So what I do is I'll just hold the bottom and then I'll take off this little cap and I'll fill it with ink. And then uh, I squeeze the bottom a little tight so the like, ink comes out. And I'll get my yellow. I'll stick it in and I'll just fill it up. I have to do this for every cartridge usually. Like around, I think I could do like, I can do about, oh no, oh no, I'm filling it, oh no. I could have stuck that all back in the I have a pretty napkin right here. Uh, I think I could fill them all up and I can get about, sticker wise, I can get like, at least like 30 sheets of stickers before I have to refill it again. Um, but prints, I could probably do about 10 to 15, 11 by 17 prints before I have to refill it. Um, which isn't too bad, I would say. And this ink for this whole box of ink, it was like a hundred bucks. And it, I've had this for this ink for like a year now. And I've refilled it multiple times. It's it's going good. Okay, like that's almost empty, so I'm gonna refill this one. And I'm gonna refill this one over back. Okay, everything is filled and I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna print some uh, 11 by 17. Okay, so I have a few new, well they're the same designs, but I changed the layout of everything. So this is my um, Goku one. I took away a lot of the text because everybody liked it, but I feel like it was just too much text going on. So then I have the Spider-Man one, SpongeBob one, the Punk one, and then my newest Miles one. I really wish I could print this one on like gloss paper, but I don't have any gloss paper, so I'll probably do that one last. But I'm gonna print out, I'm sold out of these two, so I'm gonna print out a few of these. I'm gonna do the punk one first, I'm gonna print out, let's do one to test it out and see how it looks. So here's my problem. I never really understand like what settings to use, you know? The Canon, it, sometimes it prints good, sometimes it prints bad, but I've been using the matte photo paper and I think today I'm just gonna use regular matte photo paper. I wonder what happens if I use gloss. Let's try glossy just to test it out. Glossy photo paper. Put it on high, 11 by 17, borderless. Okay, and then I want this to be like, it's kind of cutting off the top a little bit up here. So I'm gonna keep it centered. I'm gonna uncheck scale to fit media. All right, we're gonna print one, see what happens. All right, printer's making noise. That means it's working. So, but let's see the finished product, I guess. All right, here we go. Okay, it's doing this thing it always does. And usually I'll just hold this down and it'll reset. It'll fix. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. Right now it's not working. And I just unplug it for like a minute and plug it back in and it just kind of resets. But as of right now, it's not, bro, what the hell? Please, just work. Please, it's always something. 30 minutes later and I got it to work. And I, I don't know, I just unplugged it a few times, plugged it back in, pressed those buttons like 20 times and now it's working, I guess, I think, I hope, okay. First one is done. It's looking better than I thought it was gonna look. It looks kind of like an original drawing. Uh, 
Let's do some more. Let's, let's actually do stickers. I need to make a lot of stickers. All right, so I'm all out of spider punk stickers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this vinyl sticker paper. I have 25 sheets. I'm gonna make probably like two sheets of these and then we'll laminate them and all that stuff. So it's been about five hours or something like that. I did about 30 prints and it broke again. And I don't know what's wrong with it. It's like error code B200 or something that says it needs repair. I'm not gonna pay to get this damn thing repaired. I feel like I could fix it. I've done it before, but man. I always wait till the last day like a dummy. All right, let's try to fix it again. Ugh. Okay, it's been about six hours. I'm going crazy. I'm about to I'm about to break this thing open and see what's inside and see what the problem is. Cause I was on Reddit and everybody's saying like this thing is the problem and if this thing doesn't move and have to take us apart, this uh, I hate this printer. I, I hate it. I hate it. Seriously, can't believe I'm doing all this to get this printer to work. Definitely broken after this for sure. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, it's broken. That's broken. I broke it. Here's a piece. 
Oh no. There's the screws though. Wait. Those aren't even screws. What the heck? Where the screws at? Yeah, this thing is definitely gonna be broken after this. After I get done with it, I guess. I kinda don't even care, honestly, because it's pissing me off, man. I hate you, Cannon, bro. I swear. I need a flathead. I don't have a flathead. There we go. There's that one. Take it off. Oh, I don't know what that goes to, but it's. it's All right. Okay, that's probably good enough. I just need to get this. Oh my gosh. I did it. I moved it. I just don't know if this is going to work anymore at all, but, uh, I did it. I moved it. Let's try to fix it now. So I got the print head out. Let me try to put this back together. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Honestly. Oh, it should just snap back together. All right. It's making noise. It's making noise. Yo, what an artist alley prep vlog. It turned into a printer repair vlog. Uh, I, a lot of like screws and like cogs fell out <laughs> or gear a lot of gears fell out of the thing i don't think this is gonna work anymore but if it works i will be amazed but it's missing pieces for sure uh i, I just do like this piece in here like this for sure it's like i can't even get out now but there's a, there's a gear in there I just, it just fell on the floor and i don't know where it came from so i just threw it back in hopefully it'll find its place but um i'm either gonna just cut to me getting to the con and prepping or uh, i'll let you guys know if i get it fixed because I'm, I'm 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 done for right now i'm done Can my whole body yeah this is lame guy this is old guy are you gonna watch wrestling i know I wonder if I'm in the same spot I was last time. Let's see. I just did it like three months ago or something like that. Alright. Fail. Turns out I didn't have a table. I paid for a table, but I didn't have a table. Uh, they offered me another table, but... I just chose to put the money towards uh, Stockton Con Winter. Hopefully they let me do that. So this is the worst weekend I've had in a long time. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm sick. You guys probably hear it in my voice and sound gross. Uh, I got sick. My computer keeps blue screening. My printer broke. And I get to this con. I drive there. It's like 45 minutes away. Get there and I'm looking for my table and there's no table for me and so I have to like talk to the people and I'm like waiting and I have the receipt for my table and it just it turns out they didn't have a table for me I don't know why they, they just told me I didn't submit some paper but when I submit a payment I have to submit a paper but they said they didn't have it so they basically told me I could either just get a refund or I can um, take a table in the vendor hall but I didn't want to take a table to vendor hall because last time I did this show I went to the vendor hall around like two o'clock and it was like empty there was nobody in there and the table was like all the way in the back against the wall so i was just like ah, i'll just i'll just take the refund and put the money towards uh stockton con i think it's winter that one's a bigger show and it's only a hundred dollars more so i think i'm gonna do that but yeah this weekend sucked nothing went right and uh now i'm sick so video's late i'm just barely finishing editing it and you guys can probably tell I have like a sore throat. It sounds disgusting. Feels disgusting. And I just want to go to sleep. So now I just need to prep for uh next show. Well, I don't have a show, but Lightbox Expo is next month and I'm planning on going to that. So I need to work on my portfolio and print up some stuff for that show. Hopefully I'm there all three days. I might just do one day, but if you guys are going to Lightbox Expo, please, please let me know and let's swap business cards or whatever. Uh, anyways, I'll see you guys next weekend. I'm sick, man. I don't go to sleep. Peace out.